Well, hello there, folks, and welcome back to what is today going to be a guide down at Join Hollow Deep doing Lay's latest hardcore quest chain. And yes, they have up the Legion token stack amount to 50,000. If you're not sure what we're getting, it is the Hollowborn Lich King set and altar that goes with it. So here's some turning info. Excuse my maths, so I've done this wrong. I've tried my best just to summarize it for you. Flow stress is going to be 18 times, and the heat treatment just the once. There's also the fourth quest you have to turn in. But these are the only three, to my knowledge, really, that are going to require the huge amount of Legion tokens, amounting to 36,000. 400. So those ones you're not going to be able to dodge. However, on the bottom half of the page, you can see things like Ultimate Lich King Legion Bonfire, which are some other items that you're going to need for pre-requirements, some of which you may already have. Right then, let's get stuck into this draftless quest at Hollow Deep. You will need Undead Champion and Lay's Hardcore Contract in order to accept this quest. And as you can see, you'll be getting Soul Fragments. Make sure you accept them and are not deleting the items. The Hardcore Contract is a reward from the Now We're Talking quest. I suspect you've already got that lurking in your bank somewhere but we covered it just in case and the undead champion again another pre-requirement from the legion shop you can buy in here for 50,000 gold so once you've got those you're actually able to accept this quest and you'll need a hundred legion tokens however you want to go about farming those I'll talk about a couple different methods at the end of the video Next up, you'll need some Undead Energy, times 50 per turn in, again, various monsters and locations. However, maybe the Five-Headed Dracolich is somewhere you want to go if you're also farming for Revenant at the same time. If you need to do the first quest, it could be worth it going there. Battle Under B, another good shout. You'll be able to hit the Bone Dust, which you'll also need later on, potentially, in a quest further down the line. Okay, let us talk about Hollow Souls. You'll need 25 of these per turn in, and it is a quest reward from Join Shadow Realm. However, there is an even quicker way, in my opinion, to go about getting them, and if you head back one room, you can just beat up these Hollowborn monsters right here, and they will drop you either one Hollow Soul or two Hollow Souls per kill. So it's just worth mentioning, you do have a few options available to you. Once you've done that, we can move on to Flow Stress. As with all these quests, you will start repeating them quite a few times, and this time around, you're going to need a thousand legion tokens per turn in that's not however taken into the account the bonus ones you're going to need in order to turn in for more soul fragments from the previous quest now let us talk about soul sand you're going to need one soul sand per turn in so you can do this through a few different quests that are available to you first we can speak to volcar who has this quest right here this one is repeatable it's not a daily quest so you can just keep on rinsing and repeating this if you wanted to get those items and if you did you'll need 400 dages favors which you probably best suited going to the underworld and coming to this room right here. There's usually other players lurking around here and you'll hit loads of other farm regions at the same time. Bone Dust, as we touched on earlier, Battle Under B, probably the place to be, as you'll be stacking your Undead Energy at the same time. And then Dark Tokens are from Join at Seferic War Dage, and they are quest reward items from all of these farming ones you can see right here. So you have to rinse and repeat these quests a fair few times, but eventually you'd get enough Dark Tokens. Now, if that is something that is not sounding like what you would want to be doing with your time, you do have some daily quests that are available to you. So if you go along and speak to Dage, you have these farming quests right Right here and if you look at the bottom two you have got daily exercise six and daily exercise five if you wanted to stretch this out over a couple of days you could do that you can get 250 legion tokens per turn in and for this one you'll need to defeat the god of depths and then the one below is this time going to be sparring with dage the dark lord which is the ultra version in order to accept either of those quests you'll need legion promotion which will set you back a thousand legion tokens available from the legion merge shop and then you'll also need six soul fragments which were the quest reward from the previous quest that we looked at earlier which was this draftless one right here hence why i said you'll be rinsing and repeating quite a few times our third quest is going to be heat treatment you will need some pre-requirements for this one in the form of the ultimate lich king and the ultimate lich king helm as well as obviously the contract but we've had that in the inventory the whole time hopefully so the armor and helm you can get from the undead legion merge shop and it will set you back 10,000 legion tokens if you have not already got the ultimate lich king armor and then if you have not got the helm it will set you back a further 5,000 legion tokens. Now if we head back to the quest itself, this time around you're going to need 10,000 legion tokens for your turn in and then the next item you're going to be needing is soul essence. You'll need one soul essence and it is a quest reward from the legion bonfire. The legion bonfire is from Volcar's merge shop and will set you back 10,000 legion tokens. Once that's down your house, you'll have the option of accepting this quest. As you can see, you'll need some soul sand, which we showed you how to get earlier on and you'll also need to defeat
defeat Gerberus, who is located at Join Dage Fortress, and that would get you one soul essence. I think in total, you're going to need to do that quest four times, as you'll be needing more soul essences in a moment. The final two items are going to be Lich King Fragments times six from the Flow Stress quest, rinse and repeat that, and the Draftless quest, you'll need another 24 turnings. Very rinsey and repeaty. So, for our last quest, it is going to be Counter Blow. You'll be heading back again to the first two quests because you're going to need 36 Soul Fragments and 12 Lich King Fragments, plus the extra Soul Fragments in order to merge for the Lich King ones. Anyway, let us talk about Soul Essences. You'll need a further three of those from the Legion Bonfire quest we showed you a moment ago. And then you're also going to need four Crowns, four Spell Scrolls, and four Reefs. Now, if you're someone who really wants to go along farming the Legion Revenant quest, they're there. They're available. You can go rinse and repeat those a few times and get them. However, if you're someone who has stacked up Dage Insignias or just want a bit of an easier life, presuming you're happy doing this Ultra, you can just come along to the Dage Challenge Merge and merge for the items using your Insignias. And once you've done that, you can head back and turn in the quest and you'll be able to equip the brand new items and get yourself a lovely new color bulb to go with your house. So, we're just going to quickly preview what the armor looks like. It's not going to look great on my set because I didn't take off the necrotic swords that is totally my fault and what we're going to do in just a moment's time is move on and just quickly recap a couple of legion token farming methods so legion tokens realistically you're going to have a farming pet and you're going to be going along grinding doing that method and the shogun pet is currently available so that is what you want to be looking towards however if you have not yet got the shogun pet a couple of things to bear in mind you do have farming quests from days the evil the daily ones at the bottom we looked at earlier you know days the dark lord bolting it on to getting on your insignias could be worth doing. Legion Arena is another place you can come along to. Again, it's currently boosted at the minute, so with the Legion token boost on, it's 240 tokens per turn. And the only issue here with Axros's Brooch is the fact that it is like a 4% drop rate, so it could take you a little while sometimes to actually get the item to turn it in. And then the old but gold method is over at Dreadrock. You can get 10 Legion tokens per turn in, presuming of course you're a member of the Undead Legion, because you do need Undead Champion in order to accept that quest and once you've got your 2000 tokens pick up your shogun paragon bet and then this will be your quickest method in order to pick up the tokens from a non-rare point of view so once you've gone along found him if you've already got him lurking in the bank these quests are on loads of different paragons now i'm using the fiend in this case and with the boosted rate at the minute you can go along to fatia and get plenty of tokens anyway folks as always thank you very much for watching please do leave the a like and of course subscribe and i'll see you all again for another one incredibly soon